What's up? Welcome in to a daily Buckeye Blitz. I am Joe from the Buckeye Cast, as always, bringing you this Blitz five minute Blitz on Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Oh boy, how's your weekend going? Hopefully, you're starting it off right. Pour something over some ice and get it going. I like that. Same here. All right. Uh, today's five minute topic is short yardage offense. Not good last year. 2021 was not pretty at, at, in the short yardage offense, not just in the red zone, but third down. That's especially where I want to focus today. Um, Kevin Wilson had some comments earlier this week about um, he wasn't real happy with the offense, uh, picking up tough yards on the ground, being able to move the chains, important things, you know, did not do well in last Saturday's scrimmage in that aspect. Um let me throw some stats at you on the season. You know, they were uh, 52.6% on their third downs, which is good, real good. But in the key games, they were under 50%, especially, uh, obviously, Oregon. But so especially these games, I pulled these out because these were key games. Uh, two of them were a loss. Um the Michigan game, 44.44%. Penn State was 35.7 on a third on third downs. This is third downs only. Oregon, 40%. Nebraska, 47%. Tulsa, 54. So we were up over 50% there. But the total of these five games was 44%. That's not going to get it done, man. Uh, see my previous. Uh, podcast what is two days ago yeah on Thursday I think it was I talked about offensive penalties and how it affects your red zone offense and just your offense in general right so check that out so penalties are par a part of the issue uh, especially in these big games so let's let's listen to what uh, uh, Kevin Wilson had to say here about what he saw in the Saturday scrimmage uh, these are his words uh, when talking about the, the short yardage offense, it's not what it needs to be based on what I saw Saturday. Um, it needed to be better Saturday and in structure, what we're calling scheming and that pad level and execution, demeanor and attitude. There was a couple of glitches Saturday that needed to be cleaned up. Uh, he went on to say the offense was a little sloppy in general as drives went on. So longer drives, more plays, things got a little sloppy and a little hairy. Um, and the defense created a couple turnovers. Uh, good for the defense, not good for the offense, right? So Wilson emphasized the primary shortcoming was uh, the ability to run the ball. And that's obviously what you do on third and and fourth and short right uh they need to run it better as they go um he said play calling might have had something to do with it um play call and better execution um but also the demeanor of what we're trying to get accomplished it's the second time he said that in this same interview demeanor so that that tells me something uh four minute offense to to win those championships we're gonna have to close out some games and everybody knows we're running it uh I know Coach Day will have a safe pass or something to keep them honest, but we got to run and get the first down. That's what those great offenses we talked about earlier are going to do or not do. That's when we'll see if we're a good offense or not. So interesting, again, the demeanor. That, that talks about attitude, doesn't it? And that talks about toughness, maybe. I don't know. I want, I'd like to know more about what he means by demeanor because he said it twice there. Um, is it his, uh, he goes on, um, most people sometimes run it because they can't throw. Some people throw it a lot, don't want to run it. Uh, great teams in college football get to where they can do both. To be the team we need to be, we need to be able to make those tough calls, make those tough physical plays, whether it's in four minute coming out, goal line, whether it be on a run heavy play action, whatever it is, to be the team we want to be, we got to play with both hands. And that means we're committed to running the ball and running the football scheme. Running the football is fundamental, and it's also a mindset. Again, mindset, demeanor. These are key words that 
I think he's talking about toughness, honestly. And and uh, I, we we were called soft last year, so just putting it out there that maybe uh, this is still an issue, the toughness softness thing. Uh, and he finished up with uh, as well as we throw the football, which we all you know has a chance to be extremely good because of Coach Day and the skill at receiver and quarterback. They've got a chance to be really good, but to be the team they're trying to to be, they're on the balance of great. Their attitude is a balance is greatness. Let me reread that. But to be the great team, we're trying our damnedest to sell our offense on the attitude of balance is greatness. Again, attitude. So there's four times he's mentioned demeanor, mindset, attitude. There's got to be a toughness issue here, and it's got to get fixed. We got like freaking two weeks till the start of the season. So um, they'll have another scrimmage on Saturday probably, and they'll, they're they're starting this as a way to get the players geared up for a regular season. So uh, probably a weekly scrimmage uh, makes sense. Um, so we'll see. Um it's concerning when I still keep hearing things about attitude. Um, so I hope they get they get this cleaned up. It's got to be a, it's got to be addressed now, 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 if it hasn't yet. So I know that they talk about it with Coach Mick and and Coach Day, and and supposedly they've addressed the toughness issues. So I hope this doesn't rear its ugly head again. The softness and toughness bullshit. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will come back again with you tomorrow, Sunday, fun day. All right. Talk to you later and go Bucks.